Today we welcome Harry Shuck Jr. who will be starring in Step Up 3D and LXD. How are you, Harry? I am doing wonderful. It's sunny. It's good. I'm feeling good. That's good. So can you tell me, how did you get started in the acting and dancing industry? Uh, well, in acting-wise, you know, I, I, I did it when I was in junior high. You know, I did a lot of plays and musicals. And from there, you know, I kind of, I wanted, that's what I wanted to do in, as a career. Mm -hmm. And in, in high school, I kind of stumbled into dance. You know, a friend there me to, to audition for the dance team and ended up making it. And from there, you know, I grew a passion for it and also found that, you know, it was a, it made, it and made it cool for guys to actually dance. Because back in the days, it really wasn't. Uh -huh. um, and, and from there, you know, I, I came out to L.A. and started auditioning. And dance kind of took over for a while. You know, I started going on in these tours and, and uh, uh, commercials and even some films. And uh, I got to do a lot of really cool Stuff. And then, luckily, I guess I got to shift over it back into acting as well. So it's been a great, great run so far. Very nice. Now, tell me, how is it playing Mike and Glee? Yeah, I'm having a blast. I'm having a time of my life. You know, we are, because it's just really cool stuff, you know, and, and it, playing, playing Mike it, is cool because since I come from a football player, it, it kind of correlates with, with how I got to dance and then going into Glee is that, you know, I was kind of auditioned and then went and it kind of almost in a way uh, stumbled into it and then became something that was, uh, uh, you know, that people didn't, didn't, didn't want to support. And then eventually, you know, people started to love and I kind of got to correlate that with my high school experience. But it's been a great, it's been a great time and, and uh, you know, I'm having time in my life doing all these crazy different numbers and the cast is, is, is inspiring as well, so it's great. Oh, right, right. Sounds good. So, now I recognize you actually from iCarly's I Go to Japan. Um, did you have plan, fun playing Yuki? Oh, yeah, you know, any, any, any way to sabotage uh, iCarly <laughs> and their trip to Japan, yeah, had a great time. You know, we got to do a, a lot of cool things on, on that as well. You know, we, we did a lot of Stuff that a lot of lots of the then air was we had our own little show. You know, they played snippets of it, but we got to do some cool stuff. We had a giant hand. I was swapping, mm -hmm. breaking things. Uh, you know, we were um, we actually there was a one where we were dancing in a suit, to, uh, like a Siamese twin, so we're both in one suit uh -huh. trying to dance. Um, that didn't make any cut, but it was really fun. Uh -huh. uh, and, and and especially working with Dan Snyder, you know, his humor is. is right really, really funny. It was fun. Now, can you tell me, um, you're also not star, also starring in the movie, but you also choreographed it, um, LXD. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, LXD is an online, uh, online uh, web series that was created by John M. Chu, and he was the director of uh, Step Up 2. You know, it, it went back to the days when, I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, some of the cast of Step Up 2 challenged Miley Cyrus <laughs> It's yes. an online dance battle, and yes. it became this big craze on YouTube. And from there, John really saw these uh, dancers as characters, you know, and, and, and a lot of them had these crazy special abilities that he's never seen before, mm -hmm. and, and, and a dancing ability. So he, he took it to the next step, which I think is the evolution of dance, where, you know, these dancers are looked at almost as having uh, heightened supernatural abilities, but without using special effects, because these guys are jumping really high or doing crazy flips or even the way their body moves. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a, a web series that's going to have a mythology behind it, like Dance Meets Heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and, and it's going to be a, a, a series that's, you know, that's going to be presented on the web and first, first ever of its kind. Uh -huh. And I, I choreographed uh, you know, the episodes along with uh, my partner Chris Scott. And I also star in it as well. Oh, okay, great. Sounds good. I can't wait to see it. Um, can you tell me when and where does it uh, air and when does it come out? Uh, you can check out the trailer now, and it's really, it's breathtaking. The trailer is really great. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's www.thelxd.com. H-E-L-X-D.com. Uh -huh. And you can definitely check out the trailer uh, 
right now. And um, as far as the launch, they're looking into early uh, 2010. Uh-huh. Um, so you know, we'll definitely keep everyone posted. Yeah, sounds good. Now, can you tell me what can we look forward to in Step Up 3D? Man, stuff popping out <laughs> into your face. It's, you know, when we were filming, what was really cool about and different about shooting that is that they had a huge, like, 47-inch uh, uh, LCD screen, mm-hmm. and you got, and it was a 3D monitor, so mm-hmm. you, you got to go back there and put the glasses on and watch it uh, being filmed in 3D, and it, it's insane what this technology is doing for it, I feel, and, uh, some of the cats are, are back from the step up two and also from the first step up. Uh, so it, it has some of the most incredible dancers in the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I think fans will really, really dig it. I was just blown away when I you know, first saw the step in 3D. Uh-huh. Well, step up one and two were both fabulous, so I can only imagine what step up 3D is going to be like. Oh, man. Uh, one word, insane. Insane. <laughs> that pretty much covers it. Sounds good. <laughs> So, can you tell me, do you like working on movies more so, or do you like um, doing, filming TV shows? You know, I like both. They're both very different. Mm-hmm. You know, one's really fast, fast moving, and the other one, you know, you get to take a little more time. But, you know, there's also the uh, uh, good side of where we do like traveling at some times. You know, at some point, it's, it's great. But also, if you want to stay, you know, on your home base, it, it, uh, some to go towards as well, but I like both, man, you know, they're, they're both two different machines, uh-huh. but at the same time, it's kind of, again, the best of both worlds if you're able to work on both, so, and I see a lot of other actors that come from film are moving into TV, I'm sure you've seen the trend, and vice versa as well, so I, I think both mediums are, are great. Right, exactly. Now, can you tell me, do you have any hidden talents or hobby, hobbies that people may not know about you? I like to cook. You like to cook? I love to, uh-huh. I love to cook. Uh, and it's funny, I take a lot from my mom. You know, she takes a look a lot of culinary classes and we used to own a restaurant. Uh-huh. And I a lot from, from there. So um, when my friends come over, I always cook, I, you know, I always cook them some different. I cook all the way from Latin foods, uh, all types of Asian food, um, and Italian. Those are the three that I like to know that's around with and I like to do some fusions too it's funny because there's this taco truck that fuses and has a fusion of Mexican and and uh Korean you're kidding yeah I have, I have this knack of if I try the food I can kind of pull the taste out and go back home uh-huh. and then and, and, and kind of replicate it uh-huh. so you know that's one of my hobbies if I have something that's really really good I like to go back home and try and figure it out uh-huh do you have a specialty dish that you like to cook um, well, I like to, right now I'm on this kick of, of the koji taco, um, koji tacos, and it's, uh, uh, bulgogi, and it's this type of beef, uh, along with cabbage, and then it has, uh, the kimchi sauce mm-hmm. on it, uh, which is really easy to serve, and, and, you know, when people come over and I cook that for them, that's it. Sounds good. Sounds delicious. <laughs> One of your followers on Twitter, how do you like using it? I love it. You know, I, 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 I said before, you know, it's a great way to connect with everybody. Uh-huh. You know, I feel there's this huge community out there that people are watching, you know, certain shows or, 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 or you know, are fans of, of certain people. And I just think it's a great way to connect with everyone. People can ask any questions and we can, you know, we can answer their best abilities or if there's anything that, you know, uh, that's coming up and allows people Updating, which is a funny story because I, 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 I don't know if I should, should be a closet. <laughs> uh, I'm a John Mayer closet, closet fan. <laughs> but I like John Mayer and I follow him on Twitter. And it's uh-huh. funny because he's like, oh, I'm playing tonight at a hotel cafe at 9 o'clock. But I just think that's really cool when you, know, when you have that thing right there where it, it tells you, uh, you know, what people are up to or, you know, what, what's coming up. It is. It's definitely very neat. I like it. It's very addictive. Very. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everybody can definitely check you out on LXD. Yeah.